What's up friends and fellow card collectors, Card Obvious here, back with another pack rip and Q&A video. So today I'll be ripping this pack of archives, hobby pack from 2018. I'm excited for 2019 archives. Archives is a set I always like because I love seeing uh, newer players on older designs. Um, but yeah, we're going to rip into that. For the Q&A portion, I'm going to be answering a question uh, that people left on my 100 sub contest a few weeks back and yeah we'll get into that but first we're going to add to the giveaway stash a lot of stuff going into the giveaway stash for uh, June right now so most of these came out of that mystery box that I got on eBay you may have seen on Monday so I'm going to throw all these cards into the giveaway stash for a lucky winner uh, I'll probably do that drawing uh, hopefully the 1st of July so let's see here we got this Joe Decker most of these vintage cards came out of that mystery box they're not like tens nowhere near tens like this Joe Decker is pretty pretty beat up but uh, this Wally Lockman as well you see it's got surface issues there's a cr little crease right here at the top I don't know if you can see that or not uh, light uh, same thing with this Dale Long this Dale Long has a crease almost in the exact same spot as the Whitey Lockman um, this rookie card from 67 uh, it's got a rough cut top, but you know, I mean, if you're if you're trying to put together vintage sets, you know, this will be something for you. Um, this is like a pack, you know. I just kind of threw them all in this pick, pick this thick penny sleeve. Um, just to you know, some random stars and and stuff I got in that mystery box. Uh, I'm gonna throw in this nap autograph. I'm gonna throw in this Carl Crawford triple threads at a six twenty five. Uh, this Ezdrubal Cabrera gold card. I'm going to throw in this uh, JP Aaron Sebia jersey jersey card from Allen and Ginter and this Yao Ming card that I got from Wicked's Quack Stacks. So yeah, all this is going in the giveaway stash. So, you know, a nice little bunch of cards here going into the giveaway stash. Alright, so before we break into this pack, I'm going to answer... Uh, one of the questions that I got on my hundred sub contest video and I picked two questions that are that are very similar uh, TCC baseball asked what's your favorite player to collect and rookie collector asked who was your favorite player growing up so I picked these two questions because they're pretty similar so to answer TCC baseball's question what's your favorite player to collect that's tough for me because I collect all cards of Hall of Famers, so I can't really pick one Hall of Famer over another. It's really tough. I mean, I am biased towards Braves cards, so uh, it'd probably, probably be a tie between Hank Aaron and Greg Maddox as a Braves fan. Those are two Hall of Famers that, you know, I really like. I never got to see Hank Aaron play live, but... You know, he was the home run king there for a while. In a lot of people's minds, he's still the home run king. But, you know, Hank Aaron's just a legend. Same thing with Greg Maddox. I loved watching Greg Maddox pitch growing up. The dude was just... He he, he would carve up uh, the opposite team, and he never had overpowering stuff. He located his pitches like crazy. Now, granted, back then the strike zone was a little bit bigger. So pitchers tended to get away with more pitches, but he knew how to hit his spots. He knew what pitches to throw. If he had a runner on base, he knew how to indu induce a double play. He was always in the strike zone. Games were short. Uh, he didn't throw a whole lot of pitches, didn't walk a bunch of guys. So I always loved watching Greg Maddox. Uh, to answer Rookie Collector's question of who was your favorite player growing up, um, I'd have to say... So like back in the early 90s, when I first started watching baseball and getting into Braves baseball, Ron Gant was my favorite player. And I used to love watching him hit. He had speed on the bases. Um, as far as pitchers concerned, I love, you know, when Maddox came over, I loved Maddox. But before Maddox came over, I think John Smoltz was my favorite pitcher on the Braves. And, but after Ron Gant left... And Fred McGriff came in. Fred Fred McGriff became my favorite player on the Braves as far as position players. And then after Fred McGriff was Andrew Jones. Um, so yeah, those were those were the answers to my questions. Let's break into these archives and see what we get in here. 
this is a hobby pack so maybe we'll get lucky and get a hit if not I'll take what I get here's a Mark McGuire on the back here let me turn off my autofocus so camera doesn't freak out okay so we got a Ryan Sandberg on the top Hall of Famer Austin Meadows rookie card it's pretty cool Austin Meadows having a good year early win for the Indians got a Clint flirt Clint Flasia I can't talk this morning this is Clint Flasia Clint <laughs> Frazier for the Yankees pretty cool Yasmani Tomas for the Diamondbacks and we got a Sandlot card <laughs> this is the first Sandlot card I've seen little Tommy Timmons little Tommy Timmons the Colossus of clout <laughs> oh man best known as repeat yeah him he always repeated his uh his brother the Colossus of clout the Colossus of clout <laughs> if you haven't seen the Sandlot please go watch that movie it's a great baseball movie really good feel-good movie um great movie for the summer um anybody that's a baseball fan has seen the sandlot and it's funny seeing these these guys nowadays because you know they're all adults middle-aged adults at that <laughs> but yeah sandlot came out in the 90s and i absolutely love that movie you're killing me smalls of course that wasn't tommy that said that and we got an edgar martinez another hall of famer and mark mcguire who has Hall of Fame numbers, but of course, you know, had the whole performance enhancing uh, drug controversy around him. Um, as, as you can see, these numbers, just absolutely ridiculous. Look at those home run numbers. How many years did he have over 40 home runs? One, two, three, four, five. Five years of over 40 home runs. And of course, you had... 98 where he hit 70 and then followed it up with 65 and 99 and then was out of the league in two years after that so Yeah, you know a lot of controversy surrounding Mark McGuire and the, the steroids era, but that's pretty cool I got a lot of Hall of Famers in here Hall of Famer Awesome Sandlot card Tomas. Let's see rookie early win is early win a Hall of Famer Sure, why not Hall of Famer Austin Meadows rookie and then Hall of Famer and then a juicer Hall of Famer not, a, not necessarily a Hall of Famer, but I think eventually Mark McGuire will get in. Um, but yeah, I appreciate everybody watching. Uh, I got a few more videos to make today. I'm probably going to do a couple uh, contest entries. One for Eloy the Goat, another for MP Fox. So I'm going to keep this camera rolling, but it's going to be separate videos, folks. All right, peace out. Later.